Hello guys, this is Mauro from Primfotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new changes included on Windows 10 build 17.035. This new test version of Windows 10 is part of the uh, next feature update due in 2018 which currently we know as the Redstone 4 or version 1803. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements in this release. On build 17.035 you won't find new features on the start menu but by default, the menu now pins the uh, File Explorer, Pictures, Music, and the Documents button on the left rail. You can see this more clearly when you expand the uh, left rail. On Cortana, when the default location is set on your PC, the assistant now knows to show you your location-based reminders in the area of your PC. You can always set the default location using the Maps app. On this release, Cortana Collections has been updated to support a light theme and for some reason the, the app is not working on my computer but this is how the uh, light theme looks like on this build. Action Center is also getting a few changes on this release of Windows 10 and now it includes Reveal Highlight. So as you hover over the items or notifications you will see Reveal Highlight as you can see, I don't know if you can actually see, but the uh, borders get that uh, light effect, part of the uh, new Fluent Descent system. Also, the uh, Clear All option has been renamed to Clear All Notifications, just to make it a little more clear of what this option does. And at the bottom of the Quick Actions section, you're going to find a Near Share button, which I'll be talking about it next. On build 17.0.35, Windows 10 is introducing Near Share, which is a new feature that allows you to transfer files and URLs wirelessly to other nearby devices using Bluetooth connectivity. You can enable or disable this feature using the uh, Near Share button located in Action Center, and if enabled, you can transfer files to other devices using the uh, Share Experience on Windows 10 on Microsoft Edge, Photos, File Explorer, and many other apps. In order to use this feature right now, you need you will need two computers running at least Windows 10 build 17.035 or later. I only have one computer running Windows 10 build 17.035, but if you want to try this new feature, simply open a web page using Microsoft Edge and then click the uh, share button and select the uh, device that you want to share the file to on this section and once you send the file the recipient will get a notification to approve or deny the transfer all transfers by default with download in the downloads folder if you want to change this location you can always do that by changing the settings and the settings up more specifically on system share experiences and here under near share you can actually enable or disable this feature on your computer you can also can decide whether to share the content with uh, every device nearby or only with the devices you own and right here you can you can click the uh, change button to change the location of receive files now let's have a closer look at the improvements on the uh, settings app for windows 10 build 17.0.35 on system notifications and actions now you can add and remove the uh, near share button and you can do that by clicking the add or remove quick actions link and right here at the bottom you will see the new option the, which you can turn on and off and now let's move on to sounds this is a new page on the uh, settings app and it allows you to customize the most common sound settings for windows 10 uh, for example you can choose the output device if you have more the uh, one output you can change the uh, system volume troubleshoot problems if uh, sound is not working correctly on your computer and you even have access to the uh, device properties there is also a microphone section that allows you to select the uh, uh, the microphone that you want to use there is also a test section to test the microphone and if something is not working you can always click the troubleshoot button to automatically fix uh, many problems and you also will see a device property link to change some of the uh, microphone settings 
the uh, share experiences page has been updated and now it includes the uh, near share settings such as to enable or disable the feature and you can also decide whether to share or receive content from nearby devices or only uh, your the devices that you own and you can also change the location where to save the uh, files that you receive on devices the uh, typing page has been updated and now it includes three additional options including the uh, show text suggestion as i type on the hardware keyboard autocorrect misspelled words i type on the hardware keyboard when the text suggestion are available and add a space after i choose a text suggestion on the hardware keyboard on network and internet the data usage page has been updated and now you can see more clearly an overview of data usage per network interface there is also a new drop down menu that allows you to select the uh, network adapter and set different settings such as set a limit that can help you to stay under your data limits and also there is a background data uh, section that allows you to, re to restrict background data to help you reduce data usage on the uh, selected network adapter if you click the uh, set limit button you will get a number of options that you can use to set data limit but none of the uh, new options work at this time but microsoft will turn them on and let it flights on issue of access microsoft have been making a lot of changes to make windows 10 more accessible to everyone and on build 17.035 you will find a lot of new improvements some of the new settings are repeated but it helps users that need to use ECU of access to find and configure settings faster. For example, the display page is new and includes a number of options, including the ability to change the uh, scaling settings, change brightness, and other personalization options related to the display, including an option to turn off animation on Windows, enable all disabled transparency, and control the notification timing and there is even an option to disable the uh, Windows background. On Magnifier, uh, this page no longer shows the shortcuts list at the bottom of the page. Instead, the uh, shortcuts that you can use with the uh, Magnifier will appear below the corresponding settings, as you can see right here. Color filters. This page has been updated with better descriptions for filters that you want to use and replaces the old drop down, drop -down menu. Narrator includes new options to control verbosity of text characteristics as you can see right here so you have all these new options audio this is a new page that allows you to change the volume enable mono audio and show visual audio effects closed captions is not getting new features but all the options have been rearranged and now divided in three groups including change caption font change caption background and dim window content a speech recognition there's a new page on easy of access that allows you to turn on windows at speech recognition on your computer on keyboard you're now enabled to disable the shortcut for the sticky keys toggle keys and filter keys at the bottom of the page of these two new options still the same but instead of a toggle switches now you get check boxes and this section has been renamed to make it easier to type. The uh, mouse page doesn't introduce new features. Instead, it reduces the number of options and under control your mouse with keypad, you're only going to find one option. I guess control is a work in progress and right now doesn't include any new options. Other options now only includes an option to control some mouse and touchpad feedback options. Finally, on update and security, Windows Update, Advanced Options, Delivery Optimization, and Advanced Options. You can now limit the uh, download bandwidth that is used for foreground downloads. And if you're not familiar, foreground downloads takes place when you interactively start a new download. For example, when you click the uh, Check for Update button on Windows Update, or you start a downloading a new app from the Microsoft Store. If you want to limit the bandwidth for this option, you, you will see the new feature right here that you can enable 
and set the uh, bandwidth that you want to reserve for foreground downloads. And that's pretty much all that's new on the settings app. On build 17.0.35, Windows 10 is also introducing a number of uh, input improvements. For example, Windows 10 now supports text suggestions using a hardware keyboard. So let me show you how this works. Basically, when you're typing, let me just uh, open the uh, sticky notes. When you start typing, for example, I'm just going to type happy, and you will see the suggestions on top of the uh, word I'm writing. And as you can see, not only you see suggestions for words, but also for emojis. And you can use the mouse to click and enter that suggestion, or you can also use, supposed to be able to use the uh, arrow keys, but I guess, let me see if I, if I get this working. Okay, so you have to use the arrow up to get into the interface and then just move with the left and right arrow and then just press tab or the enter key to insert the suggestion. Currently, this option is, is only available in United States and it is disabled by default. You can turn it on and off by going to the uh, settings app and on devices, go to the uh, typing page and make sure that the uh, show text suggestions as I type on hardware keyboard is turned on. On Windows 10 build 17, 035 Microsoft is also updating the uh, touch keyboard with acrylic background part of the uh, fluent design system so as you open the uh, the touch keyboard you will now see a form of transparency as you can see right here on this section and throughout the interface also the handwriting panel has been improved not only includes the acrylic background as well as a touch keyboard, but you will find new animations and the experience also changes the uh, button layout for the panel. Writing letters on top of another to make a correction has been improved to better recognize your correction. And there is even a new gesture to split words by drawing a vertical line where you want to split the word to make more room to write more characters in the new space. For example, if I write a word and then I need to make a correction or are a different character. I simply draw a vertical line and you will see now that I have more space to write another character. On Windows 10 build 17.0.35, we also get in a new version of Microsoft Edge that include a, a few new improvements. Uh, for example, now you can actually mute tabs so let's say if Rens we're playing the video you can actually click the uh, speaker icon now let's have on a the tab look. to mute that specific tab and you can also right click the tab Microsoft is enabling the, the uh, mute tab option also if you're reading a free epap book online you also get a new button to save that book into your computer and if you're reading books using the uh, books feature on Microsoft Edge. The uh, right click context menu has been updated with new options including remove from this device, view in Microsoft Edge, pin to start, and refresh books. And so that's basically all that's new with Microsoft Edge and Windows 10 build 17.0.35. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.